In this video, we're going to talk about a solar powered cooktop. The circuit is based on a Mazzilli driver, which I made from IRFP260 transistors here that are heat synced. And uh, here's the Mazzilli circuit. So I have 100 ohm ceramic resistors, 5 watts, UF2007 diodes, 10K resistors, and I have a buck converter here, which takes anything from 3 volts to 30 volts and converts it to 3 volts to 30 volts. And this is the key for the circuit, because with this I can run it off a solar panel, where you tend to get varying amounts of voltage, and you want to maintain a constant 12 volts on the gates. And uh, these are good quality MKP capacitors and um, as you can see I've wired them series parallel so I have a total of five five microfarads of capacitance and then these toroids here limit the amount of positive current that can flow through the circuit so they prevent the RF oscillations from getting back into the power supply and they also limit the amount of power and prevent a surge of current I have 10 turns of Litz wire here, and I bought this. You can actually make this as well, but I bought this. This is, um, each, each uh, of these has a thousand strands of thin wire in it, and each strand is individually insulated from the adjacent strand. So there's a very large surface area for conduction. And since high frequency alternating current tends to pass over the surface of conductors, i.e. the skin effect, this uh, essentially has very little resistance to high frequency alternating current, so there's very little wastage of heat. Basic setup, what I did also is I added a capacitor here, allows the thing to soft start. So I'm going to demo it first with a switching power supply, and then we're going to take it outside and see if we can boil water and cook with it. So uh, let's first of all see if we can boil a can of water. It induces that bulb to come on. So now let's place our, our wire, our water here, and let's watch that go. One thing I'll notice is also heating the sides of the can as well as the bottom, so it's providing maximal heating to get in that water hot. power supply I'm using is 360 watts. It was set at 30 volts, so I'm going to turn off the power. So there folks, you can see that that's a regular like 60 watt light bulb and it's, it's, the sun is not really super bright. Okay, it's kind of like a cloudy sunny day, so not the best sun conditions, but I've connected it up to some solar panels roughly 200 watts of solar panels right there and I have it here and I have a frying pan already on it and I'm going to try and fry this egg um, so let me get some oil here it goes the egg frying with the sun so this unit can definitely be used to uh, cook. just a just a close-up of the circuit here's my uh, capacitors and actually those things didn't even get warm I mean they actually barely warm so uh, it's one thing pretty nice thing my transistors are totally cold totally uh, cold so uh, there you go uh, thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to check back 